My name is Fiona Maxwell. I'm a museum fellow with the Francis Willard House Museum at the Center for Women's History and Leadership. I haven't been to the House Museum since the pandemic started. There's something special about working at a historic house, and I miss being surrounded by all of the original 19th century objects. I've been a tour guide for several years, and one of my favorite artifacts to highlight on tours is Fort City. When Frances Willard was young, she lived on a farm in Wisconsin, and she and her siblings created an imaginary town out of homemade blocks. I'd love to share this object and its story with our younger visitors. They get a glimpse into what it was like growing up as a farm girl in the mid-19th century, and they discover that the Willard children played many of the same types of games as kids still do today. Frances Willard described Fort City at length in her autobiography. Frances, her younger sister Mary, her older brother Oliver, and their friend Flora met in the attic of Forest Home, the Willard family's farmhouse. There we consulted long and loudly, she recalled, about the plan of a city and who should be the officers, who edit the paper, how the streets should be named, and many other subjects of equal import. The children decided at once that the city should have no saloons, no billiard halls, and that it would not need a jail. They copied the names of the streets from the local newspaper, and they constructed a barn, a cow yard, a granary, a marketplace, a fountain, a hen house, a store, and a board of trade. They wrote a wee pamphlet bound in yellow paper containing the city's laws. The adventures of the inhabitants were enacted out of doors amongst the grassy fields and trees surrounding Forest Home. Willard remembered her dramatic play reverently, remarking, I pity the poor little things that have so many toys all brand new from the store, and get no chance to use their own wits at invention, and to develop their own best gifts. Willard's recollection of Fort City foreshadowed the reforms she advocated for as an adult. Fort City was a temperance town, and women held the highest offices in municipal government. Perhaps these commitments to temperance and women's political power reflected Willard's convictions when she wrote her autobiography, rather than the actual intentions of the Willard children. Still, Willard remembered her childhood as a time of freedom and creativity, and as a moment in her life when boys and girls interacted on a relatively equal basis. Throughout her reform career, she sought to bring the benefits of the imaginary Fort City into existence in real-life communities around the world.